Yo, what's up everybody? It's your man, Mr. Tim Swain. I'm live here at the Accra Arts Center. Got a very special guest. Welcome to my Ghana Markets Arts and Crafts Business. I've been knowing you for a while. But the people that are watching, they don't know you. So do me a favor, just introduce yourself. Yeah, uh, I'm also J. Joseph. And my local name is Kwaku Kors. I'm Wednesday born. I'm from the Ashanti part of Ghana. And I'm living here in Accra because of the work. So, so tell the people a little bit about Welcome to My Ghana Markets, arts and crafts business. It's all about producing of Ghana handmade stuff. And I produce, I market online for 24 7. We have this tool, we have the mask, we have bags, fabrics, clothing, shoes, all kinds, all kinds. If, if someone wants any kind of authentic African made backpack painting or anything, it sounds like you can do all of that. So, about how many years have you been in this business? I would say, like, Mm -hmm. I started uh, 2013, so it's more like seven years now, fully. By the way back, I used to weave Kenke and those kind of stuff, but I stopped due to the schooling at the senior high level. So I've been doing from, it's like infancy, because where I'm born from, that's what we do. Yeah. Yeah. From the Kenke to the stamps, from this to that. So no matter what it is to be, you get knowledge about the Ghana handmade stars. What are some of the challenges that you face? You know, the main challenges is uh, capital. As we, the beginners, as, as let me put it as a youth trying to do something, the capital. Because we are from different backgrounds, you understand. Some have inheritance to help them, but we, the youth who have no support, the capital. One of the things that's different, let's say if you're coming from a place like the US is, you know, in Ghana here, like if you come to this place, you don't have just like specific prices for everything. Uh -huh. So the question that we're thinking is like, how do I know that's the real, real price? But I understand what you are saying. Yeah. I have some specific kind of stuff that always I used to mail outside. Okay. Like when I'm mailing uh, that uh, specific uh, stuff to uh, Netherlands, I know that 12 pieces will cost me this shipment cost. Okay. And I know the, uh, the price cost of that stuff. So for that one, I have some list. Okay. Yeah, okay. but those I don't have the list. I will let you know that this one, uh, this is the price with that shipment cost. By I can check the uh, the shipment cost, then I'll add it to it, then I give you the price. You have an international presence. Tell us about some of the places in the world where you've done this. I've made to many cities of the U.S., uh, Netherlands, South Africa, Belgium, India. Yeah, that's what I can remember. Wow. And, and I remember, I think the first thing that you mailed to me was, was the painting. And I remember when I sent you the money and everything, in my mind, honestly, I was thinking, man, this thing will not come for like two months. But it came in like, I think like two weeks or it was yeah. very quick. It was very quick. So what are some of the differences between like the life of an entrepreneur like yourself versus let's say someone who they are working like a salary job? You bear the risk for yourself, mm. you understand? That's the most challenge. And when the profits come, you enjoy yourself. Yeah, <laughs> that one is it. <laughs> you have to know the location, because you just you can't just establish a business where you don't know how things run. You cannot just go to Kaswa and open an antique food cabin. You lose totally, because most who buy the antiques are foreigners. Mm. You understand? Yeah, it's not easy at all. You have to get a good character. Mm. You don't have to lie. You don't have to cheat. No, let me let me stop there because that's something that is um, that's 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 very significant. Because you know, I've been to the art center. Like every time we bring a group, we come here. I'm sure that you know when they see ah, Obuni, they're thinking money, money, money. You know, let me tell you something. You know, our center here uh, from 2013. I've been working here. Firstly, I was working with, let me say, my own brother. So, 
yeah, most we don't get paid. But when you exceed the cost price of the staff, that is your benefit. You see how it is? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it's not that is the UC. No. That's why we have wholesale prices. Mm. But we are selling it. So the little that would be on top of the <laughs> cost price yeah. of the yeah. and but but here's the thing. For for a person like myself, if I'm buying a bag or something, I know this guy has to make money. So I don't want to try to reduce it so small that the profit is so small. But it's when the person tries to make the profit That's so high. big. <laughs> but I know that for some people, let's say you're coming just for vacation, you're a foreigner. They have this thing, and let's say you, you buy it for 30 CDs. Okay, that's like $4. But the person may charge you like 100 CDs. And you're doing that's some calculations, you'll say, okay, that's like $17. Oh, okay, that's a nice price. But then let's say I come along and I know, hey, Charlie, I'm not buying this one for 100 CDs. How does a person know that they're getting a fair price? That's really my question. You know, let me tell you something. As you said, this one, yeah, maybe you know that it's state, right? The person may call you like 100, but usually for me, those days I'll call you like 60, twice the price. Mm. So, yeah, so that at least when yeah. you give me like 35 or 40, that's my profit, I'll just receive it. You understand? Yeah. That's the yeah. little strategies in it, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow, wow. So See. for the people listening, when you come to Ghana, you have to know. You have to know well, how Ghana to is anywhere, apart from the malls and yeah. anywhere you go, you have to negotiate. Yeah, you have to negotiate. That's how it is. Yeah. Because yeah, it's a hustle field. That's how I see it. Because there is no support. You you can go to Makole and those kind of stuff. Yeah. You will see the women uh, who have been selling over there. They will go to the shop and, you know, collect the stuff. And when they sell, they make the dollar yeah. profit. Yeah. So that's how it is to be there. In Ghana. So people have to learn how to negotiate with their yeah. Uh, and I think the main thing is once you find someone that does good business, that you stick with them. It's been at least five years because I remember we bought our first group here, here in, in 2015. I remember, yeah. How, how can they get in contact with you? I'm on WhatsApp, Hangouts, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. For a person that is thinking about, let's say, ordering something from the US, they want to order a backpack your shirt or paint how much time generally would it take to, to get from Ghana to the US uh, usually if it's post office that's within two weeks but sometimes it depends sometimes I have some already made okay if some are dead for that one I can just mail it within that one week but if I have to produce it takes within two weeks in the quantity right? let's say someone wants to buy like pork 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 and then resell or do you just mostly do like individual pieces? Individual no, pieces? I have resale, I have individual pieces, depending on the person who is purchasing. So you can do anything. Yeah. If they have the money, anything, anything, anything. 24 7, I'm working, no fake, no scam. Always, I'm there for you. Because all hands are not the same. That's why all heads are not the same. Someone may do you, but me, no scam, no fake. Together we can. Thank you for your support. God bless you. And keep doing business with me because always I'm there for you. Okay. Yo, well, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like the video. Till next time. Peace. Yes.